Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to change the Netgear N600 modem router Wi-Fi password. It's free and easy. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the N600. We have a series of operational light indicators. And then on the side, we don't have too much of anything but air vents. And then if we take a look at the rear, we have a couple of Ethernet ports. We have a power plug, a cable, uh, coaxial cable um, connector. And we also have a USB port. Okay, that's enough time taking a look at the physical box itself. Let's go ahead and change the Wi-Fi password or reset it. And to start with, let's go ahead and go down to our start menu. Right click, go up and click on run. That would be a left click. And on the command line, you type in the word CMD. And once you've done that, click on OK. That opens up the DOS command window within Windows. And in this case, Windows 10. Once it's open, go ahead and type the letters and the word IPCONFI. IG, IP config, and then press the enter key. And once you've done that, the only thing that we want to focus on when in, um, we are presented with all this information on our Ethernet adapter is the default gateway IP address, and it's right here, 192.168.0.1. Now go ahead and make a mental note of that or write it down because we're going to use that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and open up a internet browser. I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge. You can certainly open up any browser of your choosing like Firefox or Chrome. It'll work in all browsers. On the address line, we want to go ahead and type in that IP address, which was the default gateway IP address of 192.168. Dot zero dot one. And once you do, go ahead and hit the Enter key. And in Microsoft Edge and in other browsers, you will be presented with a prompt that requests a username and password. And this is the default username and password that is um, already configured within your Netgear N600 um, modem slash router or router slash modem box and if you have not changed it the default username is admin and the default password is password p a s s w o r d and once you've typed that in click on ok and that opens up the GUI interface for the Netgear C3700, which is the N600 modem slash router box. And I keep saying modem slash router because it is a combination of modem, uh, cable modem, and router. But the only thing that we're going to focus on is the router portion or the router side of this um, unit. So under the basic tab, is all we're concerned with. We want to go ahead and click on wireless and that opens up the wireless setup. Once that's open you can see that presently um, I have the name of my 2.4 gigahertz network as Skybird and the name of my 5 gigahertz network as Skybird 5 and there are two networks here because this is a dual band um, router and that means really quick is that the 2.4 will um, allow you to have a signal strength um, that's stronger um, longer distance and the 5 gigahertz has a wider band and um, so therefore it won't go out as far but it gives you um, more speed at a closer distance. All right, um, 
what we want to focus in on this video is changing the password or passphrase and that is going to be changed on both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz networks and by default my passphrase or slash password is strong C610 for both of them and if we take a quick look on the bottom of the um, cable modem router the N600 as you can see it gives me the um, password the network key password of strong C610 as well as the MAC address and serial number and the model number and so forth. However, the default password or passphrase, um, same terminology, means the same thing, um, is strong C610 and we want to go ahead and change that. So I'm changing it to, back over to the GUI interface here, I'm going to change it to Genie, G-E-N-I-E, -E, and I'm going to put a couple of numbers in there, 21, and then I'll change the uh, 5 gigahertz network as well to Genie, G-E-N-I-E, -E, 21. Now keep in mind, this is only seven digits, and, you know, um, five letters and two numbers and that's not enough for a password because it needs to be between 8 and 63 characters so I'm going to put an extra one there I just wanted to point that out because you need a minimum of 8 characters and once that's done I'm going to go ahead and click on apply now it takes a few seconds for the router to recognize that I've made a change within the GUI interface specifically the password and if I try to do anything at this point I'm not going to be able to do um, anything because once I've changed the Wi-Fi password my computer here if you look down on the taskbar here is not connected any longer because it was using the old password of strong C610 and the new password is now genie211. So in order for me, let me go up here and click on the plus and you can see if I go to my home key which is, you know, my home page is uh, Go um, Google, sorry about that, Google, um, I cannot access the internet. So I want to go ahead and click on my Wi-Fi icon, go up here and find Skybird 5, click on it, and I'm going to click on connect. And it's going to prompt me to enter a new pass phrase. And again, the terminology is different, but it means the same thing. It says enter the network security key, which is the same as pass phrase, which is the same as password. So we're going to go ahead and type in our new passphrase, genie, G-E-N-I-E, 211. And I can click here and say show to make sure I type it in correctly. And then click on next. And it verifies and it makes an attempt to connect. And if it's correct, it does connect me. And now I am connected to the Skybird 5 network, which is the 5 gigahertz network. And I can go over here and click on my add a new tab and click the home key. And that'll take me to Google. So I have access to the internet. And let me go ahead and close that out. And my GUI interface is um, available again because it... Uh, was disconnected and reconnected once I connected back up to the router and I can go ahead and you know move around here and change things um, if I choose to okay um, keep in mind no you will not know my passphrase for very long because I will be changing this um, password to something that uh, 
um, is fo more familiar to me. And uh, once this video is um, completed. Uh, all right, that's how you go about changing the Wi-Fi password. And one thing to keep in mind is if you have been in this um, GUI interface on the Netgear N600 or someone else has and has changed the default username and password, you will actually have to reset the um, N600 box in order for you to access it again um, if you don't know what the um, new password or the new username and password was changed to. Specifically if it wasn't you and you don't have it available. Alright, and let me show you real quickly how to reset this um, Netgear N600 on the bottom. Right in the center here, there's a little button and you need to press that button for 10 to 12 seconds when the box is plugged into a wall outlet and powered up in order for the Netgear N600 um, router slash modem to reset and therefore you would have to go back and reconfigure um, the router again uh, if you went that route. Let me go ahead and close this out and yes I do want to close all windows. Um, do you want to close this window? Yes. All right, took a few seconds. <laughs> and there we go. I can close that out. And that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.